Hey friends, today we are going to talk on bronchopulmonary segments. So we have two lungs, right and the left lung. Right lung have two fissures and that's why it have three lobes and in left lung there is only one fissure and that's why it have two lobes. Look over in diagram. Here we have two fissures in right lung that is horizontal fissure and here we have oblique fissure. That's why the right lung have three lobes superior lobe, middle lobe and lower lobe while in left lung we have the only one fissure that is the oblique fissure and that's why we have two lobes that is upper lobe and lower lobe. So what is the function of bronchopulmonary segments? Bronchopulmonary segments are the anatomical, functional and surgical units of the lungs. Bronchopulmonary segments is the largest subdivision of a lobe and it is surrounded by connective tissues. And the surgical importance is that the deceased segment can be removed surgically without affecting the function of other segments. So we have two types of lungs that is the right lungs and the left lung. Both of these lungs have different types of bronchopulmonary segments. So both of these lungs have 10 bronchopulmonary segments. First, we are going to take a look on the segments of right lungs. So we have apical, posterior and anterior segment. Then we have lateral and medial segments. And last we have superior, medial basal, anterior basal, lateral basal and posterior basal. So in upper lobe we have apical, posterior and anterior segment. In middle lobe we have lateral and medial segment and in lower lobe we have superior, medial basal, anterior basal, lateral basal and posterior basal. And in left lung we have apical, posterior and anterior segment. It is same as right lung. Then we have superior, medial basal, anterior basal, lateral basal and posterior basal. It is also same as right lung. Then in this section that is in the lower division of the left lung we have superior lingual and inferior lingual. Remember that in left lung we have lingula that's why we have superior lingual and the inferior lingual. If you not remember the segment then you can also remember as left starting with L and lingual also starting with L. So, the apical posterior and anterior segment present in upper division and the superior lingual and inferior lingual present in lower division. These both upper division and lower division combine to form the upper lobe. That is we can say in upper lobe there is two division, upper division and lower division. And remaining that is superior, medial basal, anterior basal, lateral basal and posterior basal, they are present in lower lobe. So these are the segments of right and left lung. So look at this diagram. Here we have trachea, then we have right bronchus and left bronchus. In right bronchus, we have upper lobe, middle lobe and lower lobe. In left bronchus, we have upper lobe and the lower lobe. And in upper lobe, that is in lower segment, we have the lingula. So this is all about the bronchopulmonary segments. Thank you.